What's up guys? We are back with another Mattel Masters of the Universe review, another Origins figure. And let's be honest, this is the most important of the big two because I always like the villains more than the good guys when it comes to Master of the Universe, it seems. So today we're taking a look at old Boneface himself. We have got our newest Skeletor figure, this time in the Origins line. And just like He-Man, he comes on just the most beautiful of vintage retro style card backs. Every time I see this package, it just fills me with joy because it's such a cool packaging design. Everything about it, from the bubble to the backer card to the layout on the back, it's all just nostalgic goodness for me. So we've got this guy here on our origin style card. You've got the Lava Burst logo on the back, Masters logo at the top. You've got the new for 20 and the retro play call out so you know it's not an old figure. Skeletor in that very, very familiar Motu bubble. And then the back of the package has got some fantastic new card art and then a demo of how his accessories work as well as a cross sell for everything in wave one. So let's do it. Let's pull him out and take a look. And here he is out of the package, our evil Lord of Destruction himself, the Boneface Skeletor. And this is probably the figure that I've been looking forward to the most in wave one. There's a couple of heavy hitters in this wave for sure, but when it comes down to it, it's always Skeletor for me. It's always the bad guys over the good guys. And when it comes to the bad guys, it's always gotta be old Boneface here. And I gotta say, this is the figure that, of the two big ones, He-Man and Skeletor, this is the one that kind of I'm gonna use as my example for why I think this line is gonna be so much fun. Because there's a lot of cool stuff going on here. Sure, it is very similar to He-Man, but it doesn't have some of the issues that I have with He-Man, and there aren't exactly a lot of those. But there were a couple with He-Man that, that just kind of weren't the best for me in terms of his head sculpt and how his head moved. This guy doesn't really have any of those problems. I think this is a very, very true to form Skeletor when it comes to taking that vintage design and just changing it up a little bit. So let's see what he can do. Uh, he is gonna be very similar to He-Man, save for one very important thing for me, at least. So we've got a head that can look way, way up. So he looks all the way up. So you can get him into poses, uh, you know, like look at that side profile. He can he can look all the way up. So you can definitely get him to do like a holding the sword aloft kind of pose, you know, give him his half of the power sword. Make him do the thing that He-Man can't do. Then you've got a little bit down. He can't look down as far as he can up, but he still has some good downward motion. Good tilt on him too. Uh, so that's really solid. And then of course, full rotation. You've got arms that go out at the shoulders. They rotate. He does have the armor padding, but it doesn't really get in the way. Uh, it just sort of pops out of the way. You do have your single jointed rotating elbow. We've got hinges and rotation at those wrists. So just like He-Man, we've got rotation at the waist. And then you've got legs that go pretty much all the way out. They kick forward only about that far. You can get them to go a little bit if you twist them a little bit. And then you've got legs that kick backwards. There is no real thigh cut to speak of here or no hip movement really. You've got a single rotating knee and then you've got a uh, boot cut. You've got rocker and hinges down at those ankles and there's really nothing getting in the way of those. So really the only area where he's got maybe some limited mobility is at the hips, but otherwise, he moves really, really well. I mean, the argument could always be made that maybe he could have used a few bit, few more cuts, just like the rest of the line in general. But I think for what they're going for here, he moves really well. And honestly, as far as him stacking up to He-Man, he beats him right out of the gate for me just because he can do that, just because he can tilt his head. So the added head mobility is a big thing for me because it lets him be a little bit more expressive than his heroic counterpart. Now, aesthetically speaking, I would say that for even the uninitiated, it's obvious that this is a Skeletor figure that, in at least a few ways, harkens back to that vintage line. It's pretty obvious what's happening here. There are a lot of hallmarks and telltale characteristics of that original Skeletor figure just done in a new and slightly different way. I mean, let's be honest, this is a very, very familiar format and style, just with more articulation than, of course, new sculpts and everything like that. But the idea here is quintessential classic Skeletor. So you've got his incredibly saturated and purple harness. I mean, I love the color here. It really pops. It's really striking, especially against the blue skin. So you've got the bone harness and the bat logo up there. It is removable so you can pop it out from the back and then it's got a little uh, pin there. You've got your belt, which can also be removed, more of that purple armor, and there is a furry loincloth underneath that. So just like with the vintage line, you know, you can take armor and stuff off. And then of course, in a number of ways, at least so far, this line is meant to be somewhat interchangeable. So you could, you know, put this harness on He-Man if you want, vice versa, and swap that stuff around. I do really like the blue that they've got going here for the skin tone. It's incredibly, incredibly vibrant and saturated and just crisp. 
crisp and it again pops against the purple it pops against the small black accent of that furry loincloth and then we've got the furry boots and the monster feet down here of course so very very vintage line type of stuff there so that's very classic Skeletor he does have one gripping hand and then he's got the open palm hand uh, that you would use with the handle on his power sword if you needed to so just like He-Man two hands no replacements but the one gripping and then the one the more open style hand and I really just like everything about this guy it very much screams vintage look while at the same time being obviously its own thing the feel of the plastic is really nice the heft the overall sizing here it's it's spot on it fits with the vintage stuff quite well and then of course he also sizes up to he-man quite nicely but of course just like with he-man the big big difference here is the head sculpt although i don't think skeletor here strays quite as far away from the norm because while it's definitely a different thing as far as the overall sculpt and just appearance here, it's telltale Skeletor stuff. So you got the green and the yellow. You got the obvious bone teeth going on there. The big difference is that he has this, you know, kind of maniacal looking grin, open mouth on his face. And I think it looks all right for the most part. The eyes are a pretty deep red, which I do uh, like quite a bit. So there's no real issues there. The hood looks really good. It's got some nice sculpt to show some wrinkles in there. I do think that maybe there has been a little bit of detail lost between the original prototype shown and the production model. This guy looks slightly less finished, so to speak. It doesn't look quite as polished, I guess is the best, better way to say it. But as far as, you know, this guy being purchased at retail for this price point in this style of line, I do think he looks fine. I really don't have any true issues with it. In the same vein that I'm not a big, big fan of that He-Man head sculpt just yet, it still hasn't really grown on me yet. I, right out of the gate, have no issues with this. It's a, it's a definite Skeletor head. It's just a little bit different. Now, as far as accessories goes, this guy, of course, does have some classic stuff, just like He-Man does. He has, I mean, what I would say would be the, the hallmark accessories for a Skeletor figure. So the big one, literally, is our uh, Havoc staff. So we've got a very, very vibrant purple staff with the ram skull up top. Matches his armor quite well. He can hold this in one hand only. You can you can sort of get him into two-handed poses a little bit, utilizing the more open gripping hand, but this thing looks really good. I mean, the sculpt on it is nice. A lot of detail packed into that ram's head. Again, there's no paint on it, uh, but it does look really, really good. No issues with that thing. Nice size on it as well. And then he also has his half of the power sword. So you've got a very classic looking design here. It's the same design that He-Man has. It's just done up in plastic with the purple color scheme instead of the silver color scheme, but it's mirrored. So it's not exactly the same. It's just, you know, it's the other half. So we've got He-Man's here and we've got Skeletor's and they do join together. So there are uh, two ports on Skeletor's and there are two pegs on He-Man's and you just pop them together. And for the most part, it seems to stay together pretty nicely, especially once you get it in someone's hands. So, you know, once Skeletor has gotten his his grubby mitts on it. There you go. You've got him holding the completed power sword, purple on one side, silver on the other, to give you that very uh, classic vintage toy look and feel. So I'm very happy with the way his accessories turned out. Really don't have any issues with either of them. It's basically exactly what he should have come with, and I don't have any issues there. And then just like with He-Man, he does come with a mini comic. But what I find interesting, and I guess I didn't pick up on this or I missed it, is that every figure in the same wave is going to have the same comic. So this figure does come with the same Beast Barrage comic that He-Man came with. Exact same, uh, nothing different here. Really good story. Good art, nothing really to write home about outside of the fact that I've got two of them now, but I like the fact that we're getting these. It is, again, a very nostalgic thing. It is a very, very vintage feel for the line itself. So I'm really excited that we're getting these. I don't know that after buying the entire wave, I'm going to need a whole stack of the same comic, but I do like the fact that they're doing this, and I hope that these do not stop. So you'll get your Beast Barrage comic alongside your Skeletor figure, just like you got with He-Man. And then as far as comparisons go, since there is no other Skeletor in this line yet, we'll compare him next to the He-Man figure that I previously reviewed, just to give you an idea of what they look like next to each other. Uh, so you can see that they pretty much size up quite well. I still think that, you know, when it comes to comparing the two as far as favorites, Skeletor is going to win for me for a number of reasons, really, but I think it's just, it gives more of a Skeletor vibe. I still don't think I'm fully sold on that head sculpt for He-Man, but they do look really, really good together. I mean, seeing these two new He-Man Skeletor figures next to each other definitely does it for me just on a nostalgic level. And then because I did it for the He-Man review, here's Skeletor next to my original vintage Skeletor, which isn't quite as beat up as my He-Man figure is. This guy at least survived a little bit more. Uh, he's been existing in a Rotan for a very long time. And you can see that there are quite a few 
obvious callbacks between these two figures. You can see, you know, we got monster feet. We've got the same type of armor, same head kind of sculpt almost, except for the new expression. So there's a lot of vintage appeal in this new figure, undoubtedly. And then because we did it with the other He-Man figure as well, here he is next to the classics Skeletor, just to give you an idea of the last line that we had for, uh, for Motu. You've got Motu Classic Skeletor with Motu Origins Skeletor. Not a whole lot to compare to, but you can just see the progression between the last line and our current line. So at the end of the day, this is probably the, the example figure for me. This is the figure that, of the two, I would say, check out Skeletor, and I think you will really, really be interested in this line. Because, honestly, this guy just has a lot of fun factor going on for him. He's got the vibrant colors. He's got the crazy design. He's not just a man. He's a skeleton man. And who doesn't like skeleton men? He's got great accessories. He has a little bit more articulation potential than He-Man. And it's Skeletor. I mean, who doesn't want to buy this guy? I think he looks fantastic. And frankly, after having these two figures, I am very, very much more interested to see where this line goes. I've always been curious since it was announced, but actually having these in hand, I'm very, very interested to see where these go and I'm even more disappointed that I couldn't get my hands on that SDCC set because now I want it more than ever. So that's going to do it for this look at the Masters of the Universe Origins Skeletor figure. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.